What is it like to be a spectator at a professional golf tournament? Is golf really better on TV or is being within arm's reach of players like Victor Hublan worth experiencing? Welcome to the Next Up Charity Golf Tournament at Oslo Golf Club. The event started with Victor Hovland holding a live Q&A where he went through his thoughts and processes before and after a tournament. It was interesting to hear how his process works and how he practices. In the beginning, it felt strange to see the guy I've only watched on TV standing right in front of me like any other normal person. And when he came towards me to head to his warm-up session before the match, it was kind of cool. Of course I was filming, so my focus was keeping the camera steady. I tried to follow Victor around the course, but soon realized that you only get to see a few shots, but definitely not all of them. This is due to the fact that Victor had hundreds of people following him at any given time. So sometimes I never even saw him hit the ball. I only saw people's backs and heard them clap after the shot was made. I quickly realized that in order to get a glimpse of the good players, I had to run to the next tee before he even hit the green on the hole he was at. This way I could secure a spot behind the tee box somewhere not too far away from the players. I saw the first shot and filmed it for you guys, but the next shot was always impossible to see as people down the fairway started gathering around the ball the moment it landed. So what is it like to see golf as a spectator? Well, to be honest, it is much better on TV. But being close to and being able to see people you have only seen on TV before is kind of thrilling. Would I recommend being a spectator on a professional golf tournament? Yes, I would. It is a very unique experience that everyone that loves golf should experience at least once. Be there for the experience, not for the golf. If you want to learn how the pro golfers think and plan shots out on the course, then go to a Q&A or watch videos on YouTube but if you just want to enjoy the walk, seeing a few shots here and there and, and experiencing how Victor Hovland behaves out on the course, then it is definitely worth it. Yeah.